Easy Dens, you're using it. What do you think? Useful tool or expensive distraction? Hot takes on Easy Dens. Easy Dens is nice, man. It is a really accurate way to get your gravity or your density measurements. It requires a, it asks you to filter the sample. And so what we do is we just have a little flask and we throw a little coffee filter in it and we pour some through. And then you just, there's like a little, there's a little syringe and you draw some out and then you plug it into the, into the easy dens, force the liquid through when it's on, there's an app on your phone and it tells you the density. I mean, it's, it's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. I will say keeping it, keeping it clean and like the little, it has this little uh, tube that comes out, which is like the blow off when you're pushing liquid through. Keeping it clean and keeping that little hose clean is is a little bit tricky. I could I could use some tips and tricks on that maybe. Other than that, I mean, it, it's it is very handy, and, and especially now that um, I'm shifting more from a pub mentality to a production mentality. It's a quick and easy way to do those things. It takes less beer and to, to make the to take the measurement as well. That said, is it is it absolutely necessary? I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I do use it for for work as well. I will say that. And it's more accurate than that forty or fifty dollar, whatever, or a hundred dollar refract that 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 I've been using forever. It's far more accurate. Like you you run the sample four times and it's the same. I've run the same sample four times with my refract and it's different <laughs> and I've, and I've had it be different every time. So that that's irritating. So, uh, I, I like it quite a bit. Do I think you need to have one? No. Is it nice for what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, you know, it, it, it it's nice. Um, please make sure though that if you're using it, when I said like, because I, I will, t I will take kettle readings with it. You do have to cool that. You don't want to be putting that hot wort through there. So I, I grab one of the little shallow stainless steel pans, like the little things that sit like in, you know, like for in, I don't know, like the cold box, uh, you're like the salad box where they're pulling stuff out of. Because it's nice and shallow and it's metal, so I just set that in an ice bowl. And drop somewhere in there and it cools down right away and then i can filter that and drop that through the easy dens so yeah it's uh it, it's it's nice for a startup i don't think i would just run i would probably just use the stuff that you have at home <laughs> that you've been using to homebrew with whether it be a hydrometer or a refract and, and it's gonna have to you're gonna have to have a hydrometer if you because because your your refract i don't think really works all that well for, for final gravity stuff with, with alcohol diluting, uh, changing the, the density of the solution. So yeah, that's kind of my take on easy dense. I think it's pretty sweet. You don't need a ton of it. Uh, you don't need a ton of liquid for it and it's, and it's useful, especially in a production setting. So Jamie Tripp, thank you very much for the question. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.